Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to set up micro interactions in Elementor. And I'm using a disposable WordPress environment for this tutorial. If you'd like to set up your own, go over to instawp.io. Okay, so right now we're at the Elementor page editor and we want to add a micro interaction to this button right here. So for example, when you hover over it, you will see some type of feedback. So I'm going to click on the edit icon and I just accidentally moved it to the next column. I'm going to drag it back. Okay, so if we take a look on the left, we'll see a number of options pertaining to this button. So I'm going to click on hover and we have a number of options here that we can customize. For example, text color. You can choose a text color. So this is me selecting red. So when I hover over the button, the text turns red. You can also change the background type so you can have a classic background or a gradient. So here's an example of a gradient. Okay, so I'm going to use a classic background, which is just a solid color. So I'm going to sample the original color. I'm going to grab the color picker and sample the original color. Okay, now I'm going to select a darker shade. All right, so when we hover, you see that the darker color appears. Okay, and we can also set a hover animation. So if we look right under the color, here we have a menu with some hover animations. So I'm going to choose grow. And you'll notice when I hover over the button, it will expand slightly. Here are some more animations. Let's look at shrink and pulse. Let's look at pulse shrink. So take some time to go through these animations to choose the one that works best for your design. And once you're happy with your customization, click the preview changes button at the bottom of the page. Okay, so here's the button, and when I hover, it gets darker. So this is a simple micro interaction that you can set up. And now I'm going to show you some more advanced micro interactions. So I'm going to go to the left hand side and click advanced at the top. Now I'm going to click on transform right below motion effects. So here we have a number of options that we can configure. We have two main tabs, normal and hover. And you can use any of these options to customize your button animation. And we are going to be working with the scale option right now. So I'm going to click on the edit icon right next to scale. Okay, so I'm going to make the scale value 1.2. One would basically mean that it does nothing. So as you can see, it grows in size, but it sort of moves towards the left hand side. So we are going to fix this. But first, let's go ahead and add a transition duration. So this is basically the time it takes to change from the normal to the hover state. And I'm going to increase this significantly. So here you'll see that the transition takes a longer time. And I'm going to reduce this to, I think, just under a thousand. Should be fine. All right. Uh, let's take a look at it. Okay, I think this looks good. Now let's fix the button animation. Remember, when you hover over it, it moves to the left. So we are going to configure anchor points for this animation. Let's set the X anchor point to left. And if I hover over the button, you'll see that it still moves to the left hand side. Um, what I'm going to do now is set the Y anchor point to center. Now, when I hover, it no longer scales towards the left hand side. It scales from the left outwards. And you'll see when I change the anchor point to right, it scales from the right outwards. And you guys should really play around with these settings to fully understand this concept. So we have just created two separate button interactions. The first one was a color change on hover. Now we have created a scale animation on hover and always remember there is no wrong or right way to do any of this. It all depends on your taste and what you're trying to achieve. So I do encourage you guys to just play around with these settings. So for example, you can go back to scale and just play around with the settings. So for example, I'm going to change the scale to 1.05 so that it doesn't grow as much, but it's still there. And remember, a micro interaction is not anything flashy. It's just a way of providing feedback for an action that was taken. So this is the result of our work. The button grows when you hover and also changes color. And you can also set up a micro interaction for a heading. Right now I'm going to transform and hover. Now I'm going to set up either an offset or a scale animation for this heading. So I'm thinking of going with an offset animation. So I'm going to click on offset. I'm going to adjust the offset X slider. So when I hover, it moves to the right hand side. Um, I'm going to decrease this just a bit. Okay. So although this is quite extreme, 
this is just another example of a micro interaction. Okay, so here's another example using a background overlay. So I'm going to click on the section and over on the left, I'm going to click on style. Okay, so here we have our normal background hover. So we don't want to change this. Instead, I'm going to go down to background overlay and click hover. And I'm going to select a dark background. So it can either be a gradient or a classic background. I'm going to click on classic. Okay. And you can use the color picker to select a color. So you can make this uh, a black background or red, for example, or gray. Um, but I'm going to use the color sampler to pick the button color. Now I'm going to choose the first color and select a darker shade. I think this looks good. All right. So I'm going to increase the opacity as well. And now when I hover over this section, it gets darker. All right. So I'm going to make sure everything looks okay. Once it does, I'm going to click on the preview changes icon at the bottom. All right. So this is our section. And when I hover, it gets darker. So now you know how to set up micro interactions in Elementor. See you in the next video.